this is where I was going to come to Tech today. I've been here many times. But um, as you can see, they've got a new gate locked up. And I'm looking over at the other fence over there, and it's got the gate on it too. And it's locked up. And I have to go around the other side of the school to see if they fenced off the whole thing, but I think they did. So, problem with Portland schools is um, people bring their dogs here, and a lot of times they'll say, no dogs allowed, but people still bring their dogs. Now, I ain't criticizing the dog owners, um, but a lot of times they'll have signs also that say, leash your dogs, but they let their dogs off the leash. So anyways, I'm, I'm not criticizing that they are the problem, but they do specify, oh, there's dogs. I see people, oh my gosh, there's dogs in the field. So if those dogs are in the field, that means there's a way in. Oh, I gotta drive around the other side of the building. Anyways, so that might be a good sign for me to get in here, but a lot of times, uh, I hate to, I would hate to think that this is a, a growing trend here in Portland, um, you know, closing off the fields. Um, but they do, they do specify, especially on some of the uh, elementary schools, they say for, for due to health risk, do not let your dogs, uh, you know, into the field, I guess. I don't know why pooping and peeing and stuff, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna <clears throat> walk. I think I might, I don't know. I could start just detecting up in here and walk around the other side of the building and see if I can get in. But yeah, this old school hasn't produced as much as I would have liked. You know, I think, um, big field it goes around the corner the whole goes around the whole side the back side of the field there but um i think we've only managed to find well i've only managed to find maybe three silver coins here and a piece of a silver uh sterling silver um like spoon handle and that's about it with a, with a, a bunch of wheat pennies so quite a few wheat pennies in and around this the, those uh, backstops over there all right, well, enough talking. I think I'm going to take pull my detector out and start detecting the parking strip all the way up and around the building. See if I can get in where those dogs got in. Well, my first dig right next to the truck is um, a clad dime, an old pool tab, and a little piece of metal. That's not bad. Um, <clears throat> all out of the same plug, so good separation. Had a good, uh, decent signal in one direction, choppy in the other. All right. Uh, so this school was erected in 1925. Um, and you see these right here. There's usually one of these about every 20, uh, maybe 15 feet or so. There's one there too, another one. Um, so, do you know what those are? Because you're in an old neighborhood. Horse carriage. Well, I'm making my way around the parking strip and I got my first weedy. This is my only my second dig. So, first weedy, weedy about four or five inches down. And curious on the date on these old guys. Nineteen thirty-six, nice. 1925 school. All right, let's find some old silver. All right, uh, this one's kind of a super iffy, and I'm in 19 sensitivity, and I'm in all metal. Let me put this. Let me put my uh, discrimination back on there. Yeah. Painting. Oh, I gotta fix that you know, bar block off over there. Oh, you can't see because of the sun glare. 
but this one's kind of iffy. It does paint um, when it's in all, um, let's see if I could fix this real quick in a few minutes here, but when you're in all metal, it um, has a red about every, I don't know, two swings. So you get like a black, black, red, black, black, red. It's kind of bouncing in there like every third. So this isn't Viffy for me. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn my camera off real quick, fix my discrimination so I don't forget because I got a bar going across there and uh, Ferris limits and then um, come back to this uh, dig here in a second. All right, well, be a first iffy live dig attempt. I don't really don't think this is going to be all that good. This has strong potential to be iron. And I'm in recovery six right now. Um, I did bounce to sell. Oh, look, at there's a coin. There's a coin indentation right there. So it was scratchy. There it is right there. It looks like a weedy. Greeny. Oh, it's a Canadian. I think. Is it Canadian? Yeah, it's a Canadian. 1941. So, yeah. It looked like it was pretty flat. So that was kind of weird that there must be some... Like I said, a little bit of iron pouncing in there and um, causing a little bit of red about every third swing. So, and scratchy. So don't always take it for, you know, don't take the uh, manicure for when you say, when you see red, don't always think that it's iron. You know, I was getting signal in this direction or southeast west, but it was choppy in and out. And that's kind of what I like. It's the ones that are good one direction and then silent the other way, but you, you sometimes you get the red and you have to just see how much red you're getting. I still like 50-50, I'll take that. Well, I made it to the other side. There's a gate that's open, but here's that thing that I was talking about, the schoolyards and healthiness and stuff, whatever is in the leash law. You know, no dogs are on school, well, obviously during school grounds, must be leashed at all times. You know, of course, picking up your poop well I've already I've already ran into some poop on the sidewalk strip but that's the way it goes and I'm gonna keep going unfortunately it looks like there's a whole bunch of stinking dogs in the park and in the, in the schoolyard which really sucks well I had a good signal in one direction and then I turned and it wasn't so good I decided not to record it but I probably should have, but it feels light, like play money. Well, let me clean this up and see what we got. I'm sure it's play money. All right, let me keep going here. Yep, 25 cent play money. Alright. So a couple general rules to finding more stuff is dig more. One of my that was one of the things I had made a comment in. I don't know if it was a video description, but if you want to find more stuff, then you gotta dig. I mean, especially when the ground is soft like this and you've got iffy targets, dig them. I mean you know you want you might get a bunch of nails but if you're not remembering what you're hearing and maybe what you're seeing on the screen the potential is that you're going to be missing stuff you gotta you gotta remember stuff it's just putting it all to memory is a bent coin just a memorial stinking lincoln an iffy one um, but yeah just dig I mean yeah you might end up with a, a ton of nails but hopefully by the time that you're done digging a ton of nails you've actually learned something so don't be afraid to dig 
to find more. All right, I got another weedy, but this is one. This is one that I normally probably would not dig. I've been digging them because, well, I'm following my own rules, right? It's easy digging, um, and I'm still, like I said, I still consider myself learning, even after using this now for almost a, uh, well a year now. So I got a weedy. It's coming in good, and then nothing good nothing those typically are iron and I just want you to see oops did I turn this off I did turn this off down here in the bottom of my hole there is the iron the bottom of the plug there I'll see if I can dig it out but let's look at the weedy greeny what calls the greeny this one's been missed. Can't see it. This light has um, really got to me. Yeah, it's bright. I don't know if I can even see it in my... There, maybe that works. Can't read it. Oh, yeah. Still can't read it. Forty, fifty. Oh well, you guys can probably see it. I can't see it the way that my light is. Moving on. 